the Danbury Country Store. Let's see if I can get some coffee and breakfast to wake my ass up. Put the Kayla right around the corner here. That store there, I'm pretty sure I stopped there once before coming out of bike week. I think I popped in there. Now don't judge me, but I'm eating deviled eggs for breakfast. Six miles until I hit the high point, the highest elevation of the ride. I was gonna hit it last night, but it was just getting too damn dark. I had the energy to push further, believe it or not. Burway Farm Creamery, coffee milk. <clears throat> oh, damn. I could have brewed coffee. I still might after I put down some miles, but that's pretty good. Salted caramel cookie baked in there. Oh my. I'm really grateful right now that this bout of COVID, I didn't lose my sense of smell. Cause just the rain yesterday and the smoke in the air, it just, it smells like spring in New Hampshire. Like in every sense of it. It's, it's incredible. I, I don't even know how else to describe it. It's, it's spring in Northeast. The climb is done. Now to coast downhill all the way to White River Junction. Okay, the first repair of the trip near the end. It's, it's all the, this needs to be like all the way out to clear this stupid big tire I put on here. Just need something to hold that, a narrow piece to stick in there. Huh.
I'm just getting emotional because I'm at the I'm at the end of my trip. I got 15 miles tops left to go. So I've done over 200. It's crazy. See ya. You take care. That's great, got to pet my first pup of the trip. Her name is Susie there, that was Susie. Absolute sweetheart. Real Charles Pat? The It's Wanna try that again? Suddenly the path is paved. That's amazing. Fifty miles, wreck my bike from Cape Cod to Vermont. I need a cold drink.